Now, you know that I always give you my honest opinion on everything I review here on my channel, but I thought it would be really fun to take a look back and share a set of items that I had received in PR that I would purchase myself. If I hadn't received them, I would buy them myself, or now knowing what I know after trying them out, I would absolutely spend my hard-earned money on them. I thought this would be fun to look back on some of the PR that I've been given and share with you the ones that are like the cream of the crop. I'm sure that not everything is in here, of course, because that would be a really long video, <laughs> but I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I was looking at recently. I was like, yes, absolutely yes. I would absolutely put out my dollars, click add to cart and have them here at home with me. So we're gonna get into that today. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. We have a good assortment of items today. We've got some makeup, of course. We have some skincare, some fragrance, some jewelry, some brushes and some bits and bobbles. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of everything here. So we're just going to dive in. I'm going to talk about this one right away because uh, I have to be honest, I don't even know if I ever would have even tried this if it hadn't been sent to me. And this is one that I absolutely love. We're going to talk about one of my favorite fragrances that I received last year. This is Burberry Goddess. Well, this is probably one of the only fragrances that I received last year, let's be honest, but one of my favorite fragrances that I brought into my collection this last year. I don't think I have many fragrance brands that are gifting me. If y'all know any, if there are any watching, please feel free, because you know I love a good fragrance moment. But Burberry sent this over and I was actually really surprised. And when I, when I look at the notes, I would right away have dismissed this as something that I'm not going to like because of the lavender that's in it. It has a trio of vanillas and it has a lavender. And I usually am not a lavender girl. Like to me, a lot of times lavender smells like something that either I associate with like the spa, which is not a bad thing, but it's just not something that I wanna smell like, or it smells like something you'd rub on chicken before you put it in the oven. I'm not gonna lie. Like to me, it's sort of like, foodie scented, but there is just something, there is something about this. And I feel like people are of two camps when it comes to this. They are either like, I don't get it, it's a vanilla, or people are like, listen, <laughs> this is the vanilla of all vanillas. And I think it's so unique is really, is really what it is for me. I love a good vanilla note, but I don't want it to be too cloyingly sweet. I don't want it to be, to smell like ice cream. I don't want it to smell like pound cake. I don't want it to smell like too sickly sweet, something syrupy, something that could probably be like a body splash from Bath and Body Works. Like that's just not usually my vibe. This is not that. This smells so lovely. And the lavender in this, oddly enough, is what makes this so lovely for me. It just gives it a very light, background of aromatics that keeps this from being too gourmand. This is something that I would absolutely feel confident wearing all year round, even, yeah, honestly, even on a summer day, maybe not on like a super humid, high, high heat day, but like on an average summer day, I think that this would work. I think you could layer with this 100%. When this is gone, I will absolutely repurchase another bottle. And it doesn't, I know it doesn't look like I've put much of a dent in this, but obviously I have a lot of fragrance. I will tell you right now, like if this were to, heaven forbid, break or get lost or something, I would immediately, I would, I would grab another bottle. It's just something that I have to have in my collection. It's an easy reach. It's so gorgeous. If you haven't tried it and you know that you enjoy a vanilla, I would definitely get your nose on it. If you've always been searching, like you'd like to be a vanilla lover, but it's always like too much, you should try this one. Okay, so definitely in love with that one. So thank you again to Burberry for sending that over because it just opened my eyes to a scent that I probably never would have tried. I did smell the, is it Goddess Intense? Like the newer one. I think I need to revisit that because at first I was like, nope. I mean, I definitely still appreciate this one more 
But that one, at first I was like, mm, I kind of wrote it off. And then as I was like driving home after smelling it, I was like, actually, mm, it was pretty good. <laughs> so I need to go back and I need to smell it. But this one, it's, it's the lightness, it's the airiness of the lavender that really makes this unique. So this would still be my tippy top fave as far as like the two cents. So now why don't we just talk about some skincare because I have just a couple things here and these are actually both K-Beauty items that have been sent to me and not only would I repurchase or spend my own money on them, but I actually have because these are brand new uh, packages. So not this past winter, but the winter before, I was sent a trio of products from this brand. This is Make Prem or Make Prem. I'm sorry, I don't really know, but I was sent a set and honestly, the face wash, the cleansing foam was the one that I was just sort of like, okay, I guess I'll try it because it's in here. But it is the product that was in that set that really wowed me. And I immediately, when I used up the bottle, the tube, I was like, I would totally repurchase this. And I was like, okay, but I have so many cleansers, I really don't need to right now. And honestly, while I've been going through other cleansers, I just missed this one so much that the last time I was doing an order, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pop a couple things in my cart that I know that I want to get. Because of course, anytime I'm doing like a K-Beauty order, I wanna have enough to kind of make it worth the shipping, uh, which included this other product that we're gonna be talking about. But a few of the things that really make me love this cleanser is the fact that a little goes a very long way. It really has, a gentle foam to it, but a little pea size of this really gives you enough to be able to cleanse your entire face. I love that my skin felt clean, but not coated with anything, but also not stripped. You know, like sometimes I feel like the very gentle cleansers leave a little something behind, probably like to help protect your barrier, but I just don't like that. So I love this. It does have a, a slight Mm, shall I say mentholated scent to it. It's not overly strong. It just, you know, it's that like clean spa vibe, right? So I really do like this one. I'm definitely gonna be cracking into this one soon. Um, I have gone through a couple cleansers. So I was sort of like, okay, you went through a couple of the others and this is my reward to be able to pop this one open soon. All right, the other item that I wanted to talk to you about and I remember right away when I tried this, I was like, oh, this is so nice. And this is the Pukang Yule Calming Moisture Barrier Cream. So this product, I'm actually just gonna open this one up because I'm ready to crack into her, hold on. All right, by the way, this is another one where it was like, now Kelly, if you use up a couple of your other moisturizers, you can open this one. <laughs> and I have. So this product to me is similar in texture to the Kiehl's Ultra, um, Ultra Facial Cream. I think that's what it's called, the Basic Kiehl's moisturizer, which I also really love. This has, I feel like just as much moisture to it, but it has maybe a lighter, airier texture to it. So I feel like this can be used all year round, although so can the Kiehl's. There's just something more watery, cool, refreshing to this that I really enjoy. Also, this is much less expensive. I think I got a two pack of these for probably less than what I would pay for the Kiehl. So I do really enjoy this one. Uh, I will have a link down below for you if you did wanna purchase either of these. I just absolutely adore these. I think that it's just, when it comes to skincare, when it, and I've talked about this before, when it comes to moisturizers and cleansers, I want basics that just do the job <laughs> like and that are also inexpensive like i feel like i want to put more of my money into my actives that i use and so like serums you know my tretinoin uh vitamin c like those types of things and then i just want really good standby not doing too much but doing just enough out of my cleansers and my moisturizers and these are both absolutely gorgeous products so i really enjoy those as well all right should we talk about some baubles i am so excited so Last year, I talked about how I was sort of going on a journey to start investing a bit more in jewelry that's going to last, but maybe not break the bank. You know, something that has high quality so that I can have some really great pieces that I can wear all the time and things that just won't like tarnish after three uses. So I stopped buying a lot of the like mega costume jewelry from, you know, your average big box stores and things like that. Even though they're cute, they're trendy, but it's like, 
you wear them three times and they just start to look like trash. And it's like, I'm like throwing my money away. I'm wasting resources, both of the earth and of my pocketbook. And I just didn't want to do that anymore. So I've been trying to invest in pieces that would just give me more bang for my buck. So I was really excited when last year, Anna Luisa reached out and offered to send me a couple pieces if I would share them with all of you. And I was so excited. And I have to say, this pair of earrings, uh, I wear them all the time. Not only do I wear them all the time, but they look just as good as they did on day one. I'm gonna try to show you an up close here. So we have the Celeste earrings and I do have them in the uh, gold. You know, I'm, I'm a gold girly now. If the brand would come out with some rose gold, that would be amazing, but take a peek. So these earrings, one has this little heart, uh, heart, one has the little star. Hopefully you're able to see that. Let me actually just zoom you in. There we go. All right, so we have the little star and then the other one is the little moon. And I love this duo of like, slightly mismatchy, but really goes together. Now I did notice that the brand does make a set of the star earrings as well. If you didn't want to mismatch and you just want the little star burst. I had to just get you all zoomed in so you could see these. So I just think that these beautiful little dangly hoops just give that little something, you know, it's like, it gives a little flicker of movement and they really go with just about everything. And I have worn these so much. I've also slept in them. <laughs> Like there are just nights where it's like, I am too tired to think about taking out my jewelry and these have been really comfortable. So I was so excited when the brand reached out to me recently and offered to send some pieces to share with you again. So I actually have them on today and I have quickly fallen in love with both of these. So today I have on the Pebble Mini Necklace, which I just love. Again, I am just all about the classic staples, but that have like a little fun edgy twist. It's like they're classics, You'll be able to wear them for a long time without feeling like you're behind a trend, but they they have a little something to them. So this pebble mini necklace is so great. It's so great to layer with. I've worn it with tops that are open against the skin. I've worn it with higher necked pieces as well. This is so great. They do also have a larger pebble option. And I was, I was really tempted. I was like, do I want the larger one? Do I want the smaller one? But for me, something that's just a little bit smaller, I feel like I don't know, there's just something in the wearability of it. So I really love this. I also have on, and I will be showing you up closes of both of these pieces. Uh, I also have on the Sloan Pave earrings. Now I have to say, I was just looking on the website and I saw that they also have options in silver and gold where they aren't Pave. And I, I honestly think that these are so great that I would consider getting the gold in a non Pave. But what I love about these is it's, it's sort of like the edgiest, huggy type earring. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's a little bit glam. It's a little bit badass, but it's also understated. Can you be an understated badass? That's totally my vibe. Let's, let's go with that. So I really love these. And recently I was looking a little bit more into the brand because when a brand has a tagline like crafted with the planet in mind, I really want to know what that means. So not only does Ana Luisa use recyclable materials when available, they also are carbon neutral. And I love that they have been committing to lower their emissions over time. And you can see all of those details, by the way, on the website. I was also really interested just to see some of the foundations that they partner with. So I was really curious about a plastic ocean foundation because you know that Jeremy and I, like we are both water babies. We really enjoy going on our trips and enjoying the ocean, enjoying the coral reefs. And so it's important to us to know that we are helping to protect those beautiful resources. And also let's just be honest, like water is important. Water is literally crucial to life. So this foundation is a Hong Kong based water advocacy organization. So they're focused on climate resilience, water usage education and water pollution reduction. And it's really cool because this organization has been working on sustainably cultivating pearl oysters with goals to rejuvenate seawater and conserve biodiversity. Essentially, oysters are basically one of nature's filtration systems for water. So I think that that's so cool. And let me tell you, I have learned a lot from Jeremy, who is by the way, my fiance, for those of you who don't know, but about like natural filtration, like through him having his saltwater fish tank, he talked about like how you could have a filtration system based on algae and like all of these cool things. If you'd like to look at any of these pieces or others, you know, I think that this is a great brand to not only pick up, like I said, a couple staple pieces for yourself that you will be able to wear time and time again, but these would be great ones to gift as well. And since there are like, like I said, those sort of like every day with a unique flair 
kind of vibe going on. I, I just really love it. I honestly had a hard time picking out pieces on the site. Well, I didn't have a hard time picking out pieces. I had a hard time narrowing down my options and I have a feeling you will too. So by the way, if you have anything from the brand, I would really love to know down below. Let me know what you have so that I can check it out. So thank you again to Ana Luisa for sending these over. All right, so we are gonna get into some brushes. You all know that I can talk for a very long time about makeup brushes, but I am going to share with you some of the brushes. In fact, quite a few of these, not only would I spend my money on, but I have spent my money on. You know, once you find a brush that you know works really well and is lasting really well, it's like, okay, I, I need more of these. So let's talk about some BK Beauty brushes. Now I am an affiliate with the brand, so my code Keep Beauty Real will always save you on the site. Uh, it is not an affiliate code though. Um, if you do shop through the link that I'll leave down below, I will earn a small commission, but you can use the code at any time and you will not be giving commission. So I just like, I know some people feel a little cringed out by using affiliate codes or links. So just know that that code is not affiliated. But if you do wanna use the link, I greatly appreciate it. So this brush, you've heard me talk about it a lot, the 111. Now, this is the brush that when I'm putting on a powder bronzer, I immediately look over here and I'm like, do I have my 111 clean? In fact, when I used this brush, when the brand first sent the new set out, I was like, um, I love this so much. When it is dirty, <laughs> I am so sad. So I actually reached out to them and asked them if they would be willing to send me another one uh, with some other things that they were sending out because I just love it so much. So this is absolutely one that I would buy. If I didn't have the two that I have in my collection, I would absolutely buy one that day. <laughs> Like it's just, it's one that I need to have. And the reason that I love this is it is the perfect amount of density to be able to really buff into the skin, but also not too dense so that things don't get kind of choppy. And it's also the perfect size for me. You know, I am team small brush. And for a bronzer brush, this is really, you know, fairly small. Some of these bronzer brushes these days, y'all, like some of these brushes, if I can go like this and it covers up half my face, that is way too big of a brush for me. I am not interested. <laughs> I like the fact that this, now I can add more and I can add more bronzer, but I don't end up with really like ruddy, patchy looking bronzer just because it like kind of is uncontrollable. I don't end up with all of my skin being the color of the bronzer that I'm trying to lay down because the brush is too big. I really love this one. So definitely a must have for me. The other brush that I wanna to talk to you about, and you're probably not surprised, is the 109. Again, if I'm using a cream blush especially, but also bronzer, I am going to look for this brush to see if it is available because, and by available, I mean available in my clean cup of brushes. So I use this today and there is just something about the shape and the density of this that makes it ideal for creams because you can lay down product easily and you can press and sort of like pat this into the skin in a way that doesn't lift anything up underneath. If you're wearing, you know, a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, it's just so beautiful. I, I really just love this. And, you know, I've talked before about either using the heel of the brush or the, if this is the heel, maybe these are the toes, I don't know, <laughs> to be able to use as a contour as well. So it's a multi-purpose brush. I absolutely love it. You could also use this as your foundation brush if you, are like me and you love a smaller brush. So really love these. Of course, I've enjoyed so many of my BK Beauty brushes, but these are the ones that it's like, I need to have these in my collection. Okay, let's talk about a brush that's in a similar shape. This is from Lara Fay. And if you are new to my channel, I feel like this is, well, if you're not new to my channel, you, you probably know that I love these brushes, but if you are new, you may never have heard of Lara Fay because I just feel like this is a very, underrated brush company. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this brand. They are UK based. And I know that sometimes we in the US are so spoiled by having lower shipping costs. When I fell deeply in love with this brand, I asked if they would be willing to give me a code that I could share that just sort of like knocks some of that cost off, you know? So I do have a 10% discount code. At any rate, so that if you wanted to check them out, you could save a little bit of money. It's not affiliated, just save some cash. So I think what really sets this brand apart for me is the quality of the bristles. It, they're very soft yet very durable. Like these brushes I have cleaned so many times and I really love them. And this shape is definitely one of my favorite foundation brushes. This is the F09. So you can see it does have that similar shape 
to the 109 from BK Beauty. This brush is smaller than the BK Beauty 101 and it's also a bit more dense so it doesn't get quite as floppy over time. I prefer this one to the BK Beauty one just because of the density of it. I really love it. I've washed this so many times and it is gorgeous. And of course the blue handles are beautiful. They do have several colors as you'll see here. I think I have some of the pink ones as well. So I just, I just love these brushes. Let's talk about a similar shape. So this is the F25 and this is a beautiful powder blush brush. This is just so nice for being able to sweep blush onto the cheeks. You could also use this for powder bronzer if you want. I just think that this is lovely. And the the bristles, these are just so soft, so nice. Like soft enough, but not so soft that it's not gonna pick up any product. You know, sometimes you have like hairs that are overly silky and then they just don't grab anything. This is like just perfect. So really love this one as well. We're, we're sticking with the theme here. We've got a similar shape. We have the E35, I'm sorry, the E, nope, it is the E35. 43 year old eyeballs, y'all. So this is technically an eye brush. I do not use it for that. When they sent me this, I was like, I mean, it does make a really great like one and done eyeshadow brush, absolutely. But what I use it for is pinpoint highlighting and pinpoint powder placement. So I'm not really a powder highlighter girly, but I, when I am, I want it to be very strategic and something that I can build up and this is the perfect brush for that. If you are hearing heavy breathing, <laughs> Jet is sitting over here uh, semi-snoring. So if you're hearing that, I'm, I don't have a stalker that's like creeping at my doorway. I just left it open. <laughs> just wanting to hang out with all of us. I hope you guys don't mind. So this brush is just so beautiful. You can use it for pinpoint cheek highlighting. If you are a nose highlighter, I don't usually highlight my nose, but if you are, this would also be really great. You could use it on the brow bone, I mean, I use it on the under eye for powder placement. It's just so perfect. Very soft, which is really important, especially if you're using it like under the eye. So really enjoy this one. Now, while I have many, many, many more brushes I could talk about, I do just wanna share one of the Lerafe eye brushes. So this is the E12, and there is something about this brush. So it has your basic fan shape, but it is small enough that it can still be very detailed. And I just recently used this in the video that I did with my Build Your Own palette with some of the new Davina shades. So you can check that video out if you wanna see this in use. It is dense enough that you can pop color on and pack it in without it getting everywhere, but it's fluffy enough that with light pressure, you could really like blur out the edges. So this is such a multitasking brush. It's a small enough shape that I think it really works for hooded eyes. I really love this brush. So I have, you guys have heard me talk before. I have a feeling that they discontinued this brush because I haven't seen it on the site. So uh, it's not the same. Wow, this one is old and it's stained, but this is gonna be the one we talk about, the E36. So I've talked about this brush time and time and time and time and time and time again. So this is similar vibes, but even smaller. And I, I really do love this one. This is a bit bigger, but similar. So if they don't indeed make the Sigma one anymore, this is the one that I would recommend. Uh, still small enough that you can get a lot of accuracy. I'm going to be so sad if this is discontinued. I didn't see it on the site the last time I was looking. If it is still available, the Sigma E36, I, I literally have like four of these and now I'm going to be like treasuring them. <laughs> anyway, so those are some of the brushes that I have that I wanted to share with you. Okay, so Let's get into the makeup, y'all, shall we? Uh, as I'm putting away some of these brushes, I do just wanna say if the camera has been kind of like changing around, I mean, obviously I've zoomed in and zoomed out a bit, but if the lighting has changed, if the camera has changed, it's been kind of a chaotic day here in this household. So a couple times now, I'm like, wow, the, the editing on this is probably seeming like a hot mess. My apologies, but we're just keeping it real here. Okay, so I have wanted to talk about this product. I've been using this one for a while. This was kindly sent over to me with a couple other items in PR and I was not expecting this. I was expecting the other couple, but when I saw this included in the box, I was so excited. So let's talk a little bit about the new RMS Sun Cover Up Skin Tint. So this is something that I was so curious to try, but I wanted to wait until I had used up a skin tint before I went and purchased this one. So it was very kind of the brand to send it along with some of the new uh, legendary lipsticks. This is what I'm wearing today. 
this is just enough. This is just enough. It is this beautiful. Now, obviously it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. It is SPF 50. So for those of you that have tried, I'm gonna pull it out here. I know I just had it a minute ago. Here we go. <laughs> so for those of you that have tried the Supernatural Radiance Serum, RMS said that a lot of people were loving the vibe of this, but wanted something with a bit more coverage. So this is sort of like the big sister to this product. Uh, this is less glowy, still beautifully glowy, but less glowy, but has more of a tint to it. And there are more shades that it comes in as well. So neither of these, well, this one, if you put on enough of it, it can definitely be your SPF for the day, but you do have to put enough of it on. Now, if you were to put enough of this on for it to be your SPF for the day, you're going to have a lot of a skin tint on. So I consider this product to be that like bonus SPF, you know what I mean? It's not necessarily my only SPF, but it sure does help. And the fact that it just looks so beautiful while giving me extra sun protection is a bonus. So I have the shade tan and this right now is working for me despite me slowly getting lighter and lighter. I probably would need a different shade in the you know middle of winter. This is also a little bit more of that like warm peach, you know, it's, it's technically probably a bit more on the golden side, but it does have just enough of that like beigey tone to it. it. It works. I would love to see the brand come out with some olive shades. That is something that they don't really have. You know, they have some cools, some neutrals and some warm shades, but they don't have an olive shade range. I would really, really love to see that, but I absolutely love this. It's just that when I'm feeling pretty good about my skin, I just want a little bit more coverage, something that looks very natural skin finish. This is going to be it. So this is what I have on with my House Labs concealer. You all know I, I love that one. If House wanted to send me some uh, PR, that would be great. <laughs> but they haven't. So I just have that on under my under eye and my nose. And then I did use my RMS, uh, what is this called? Hydra setting powder. Jet's like, Ugh, mom, it's the Hydra setting powder. So this uh, I purchased myself, but in case you were wondering like what I do have on, this does have a little bit of tint to it, but it is like really low coverage. So any coverage that you're seeing right now is coming from this at least not in the under eye. Okay, so just absolutely love that one. Wanted to talk about that. Uh, while we're on RMS, I do want to talk about the Legendary Serum Lipsticks. I'm not gonna stay on this too long. I do have a fall lip picks video coming. This is one of the ones in that video. And so it's sitting out on my tower right now. So I did just wanna grab this one. But if you are looking for a beautiful, like natural matte lipstick that you can wear as a beautiful stain, you can build it up to high coverage. It's very thin on the lips, but not drying. It's gorgeous. This, this formula is absolutely beautiful. And I now have several shades. Uh, I purchased Linda and the brand, I didn't know this, but they were sending me three shades and I've loved and adored all of those. Audrey is one of them. And then they just recently sent me a few of the nude shades. So really enjoying these. I will pop this one on my hand so that you can see. Now, the thing that is really gorgeous about these, they go on as this really lightweight, slippy, watery almost color. And they don't stay slippy. It's just that initial like thin wet feel. So this is Audrey at like full opacity. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. I love wearing this as like, just like a, a bitten kind of like skin tint, skin tint, lip tint. Boy, I bet this would actually make a really pretty blush as well. So just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this color is going to be so lovely for fall. So, oh, I mean, look at that. If that isn't like fall lips right there, I don't know what is, absolutely stunning. I really love these. I think a little bit goes a long way. So the tube is gonna last a decent amount of time. And there's just something so cute about these little like clickable lip stilos. So very much in love with those. Uh, I have, like I said, already purchased one myself and I would definitely consider doing more. I feel like now I have quite a range from them so I don't feel the need to purchase anything. But if like once I use Audrey up, I will absolutely be buying another one. So definitely on the list of things that I would spend my money on. Okay, really quickly, one more RMS thing. I'm sorry that I'm sticking on the RMS. You know that we've sort of had a love affair. Well. It might be a one-sided love affair. 
they must be okay with me if they're sending me PR, but you know what I mean. I've just been falling in love with pretty much everything that I've tried from the brand. Uh, I wanted to put this one in here. I wanted to put this one in here because I absolutely am planning on purchasing more of these, the RMS Eye Lights. I think that these were in my last favorites video. This is the shade that they recently sent me. This is Eclipse. It's this beautiful, like silvery olive shade. Gorgeous for this time of year. Gorgeous for any time of year, but absolutely gorgeous for this time of year. I don't need an excuse to wear an, a green eyeshadow, let's face it. But I was just perusing the website, looking at the eye swatches to decide which color I wanted to add to my collection next. I think I've decided on, is it Spark? Ooh, I can't remember. There's this like plummy brown, whatever the plummy brown is, I think that's gonna be the next one I get. But this is so beautiful. These are so flattering on the eye. If you have textured lids, if you're starting to get a little crinkly and wrinkly, but you still want to have a bit of luminosity, these are beautiful. I think that the formula is thin yet not drying and they blend out really nicely on the eye. I also love that on the RMS website, they have each shade shown on at least models of two skin tones, if not three, I cannot remember, but that was really helpful for me to be able to see. So hopefully it would be for you as well. So of course you can shop on the RMS website. I am so excited that now the brand is available at Ulta. I believe it's online only, but you are able to shop at Ulta to get your RMS if you're like me and you're hoarding points. I definitely plan on spending some points on this brand. And these are one of the products that I would definitely pick up and I'm going to pick up. Okay, let's talk about some Sydney Grace. Now, while I have not received much in PR from Sydney Grace, they did offer to send me a few things. Uh, I believe it was last year. It was right when they were starting their cream blushes. They had a monthly set that was going to have the new cream blush formula in it. And I was just chatting with them on Instagram and they offered to send them to me. So I do have the original two that they sent me. Now, if you're not new to my channel, you will already know I have spent money on these. I have several more of the cream blushes, but these were the two that started it all for me. So the two shades that they sent over were Petunia and Rosebud. I will go ahead and swatch those out. Uh, Petunia was actually just in my fall blush picks. So I will leave that video if you do wanna see the other blushes that I picked out for fall. Uh, these are so, so pretty. And the formula, they, they're just creamy enough. You know, they're not so creamy that you can't control it as you're applying it. They're also not drying on the skin. And I think that these are so beautiful. So we have Petunia here and Rosebud here. And these just, you could build them up. You can share them out. I do have Rosebud on today, by the way. Uh, just so lovely, just so, so lovely. By the way, this is, where did I just put that brush? How can I possibly, okay, here we go. So this, by the way, the 109, this is one of the reasons why I love, it's just the right size to be able to dab into here. So perfect for cream blushes, like I said. So that is definitely a product from Sydney Grace that I have clearly purchased. I do also wanna make a note because if you watched my unboxing, unbagging from the mystery bag sale this year during the Christmas in July, the cream products that were in those bags were in the pans. Uh, and then I put them in their own little individual compacts. I did ask the brand and they do plan on the sold individually products that are creams to continue to be in these jars. Uh, whether or not future mystery bags will be in pans is undecided, but the individuals that you can purchase individually. Wow, how many times can I say individually? <laughs> okay, these ones are gonna stay in jars. I wouldn't be surprised if perhaps they had to do that due to maybe not having enough jars for the season. I'm not quite sure why they ended up having to put those in pans. Personally, I hope that even for the mystery bags that they go back to the jars, even if that meant, honestly, like, adding a couple bucks to the price of the mystery bags because these, I just feel like it's easier to keep things clean. It's easier to keep things from drying out. And I just, I just like the jars better. So it could have been a cost efficiency thing, or it could have been that they just didn't have enough jars to be able to do those products in them. I'm not quite sure. I am still, by the way, hoping that they come back with the cream bronzers with reevaluated shades and more shade options, but I'm, I'm really waiting for it. Hopefully next spring. I think that would be a good time to bring those out. Okay, so anyway, 
have purchased, will purchase, love this formula. So a couple more lip products. This is kind of like all over the place, but I'm just going by what I see here. So let's just talk about this because it's gone. I have used up, uh, actually I've used up like one and two thirds of the Clear City Lips because my one that I keep in my purse at all times, in my car, like the one that is either in my purse or my car at all times is almost gone. I love this lip gloss. I love this lip gloss. I use it as a gloss. I use it as prep in the morning before I put on another lip color. I use it as a lip mask at night because it's nice and thick. I just love these. They are plumping, but they're not tingly or burny. So that is beautiful. I also love the colored ones as well, but the clear I have purchased and would continue to do so. I love these. I've given them as gifts. I have put them in my giveaways, by the way, in case you're watching this and you're like, hey Kelly, you never did your 5,000 subscriber giveaway. It's gonna come at 6,000. Sorry, it just kind of like got past me and we're rolling up on six now. So I'm gonna do a big giveaway at 6,000 subscribers. I was just like, oops, never got that done. Life was lifing and it just didn't happen, but that will be uh, coming up. And I'm sure that there will be, if not a clear, a colored gloss in there. Cause I love these so much. So. City Lips Lip Gloss, absolutely love these. You can use my code KEEPBEAUTYREAL to save. I know that they have some great sales coming up and some new things that I'm excited to share that are sitting here staring at me, but I can't share them yet. So moving on from that. All right, some more lip products that I love. I'm not gonna stay on these for too long because I talk about them all the time. The Renew Lip Oils from Sigma. Absolutely love these. So I did actually purchase one before they sent me any. I purchased the shade Tranquil. This, absolutely. Uh, I'm actually surprised. I've used almost the same amount of tint as I have Tranquil. I will swatch these for you in case you're watching this and somehow you've never heard me talk about these. I like to refer to these as sort of a lip oil, lip gloss hybrid because they are a bit more viscous. They have a little bit more thickness to them than what I would consider a lip oil to have. What I love about that though is that it stays on the lips for longer. And when I say thicker, I don't mean stickier. I just mean a little bit thicker. They have a really nice buttery feel to them. Now the colors are just very subdued. So this is Tranquil. This definitely gives that beautiful, just slightly tinted pink feel and tint is a beautiful like taupey neutral. So this is sort of like a, the lightest, Mm, not the lightest, the sheerest nude you could ever have. And this is sort of like, if you ever get a manicure and you just want like healthy nails and they do that like sheer pink, that's what this is on the lips. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, they did send over the Little Mermaid collection and there are two lip oils in that lip set. So we have Coral. I'm gonna swatch these as well. These Coral is a bit more pink than Tranquil and it does have micro sparkle in it. I don't want to call them, let's call it shimmer. It's not like sparkly, but it is very pretty. You just do see a bit more of that pink on the lips. And then this one is so stunning. This is sunset and this is more of a reflective uh, duochromatic within a clear, but again, isn't like I have a craft project on my lips. I don't, this is like the most awkward. So here we have coral and then over here in this most awkward spot is the what did i say that that was sunset yes these are just they're just so pretty they're so pretty you probably can't even see them but they're lovely i was so excited that there were two of these in that set now there is also one of their lip cream formula which is nice but not necessarily my jam but if you like a good like more opaque liquid lipstick lip gloss hybrid. That's what really that like lip cream is. But these were really what took the cake for me in that set. So we might as well talk about Sigma eyeshadows. Listen, I have had two eyeshadow palettes sent to me from the brand. I've also purchased some over time and I haven't had a single one that disappointed me yet. I really haven't. So they did send over the entire Little Mermaid collection and this palette I have absolutely had so much fun with. Recently, I was wearing a look in a couple videos and everyone was complimenting that look and it was using these shades in the palette. And then I sort of steered more towards this side when I did my review of the entire collection. So if you do wanna see more deets on this palette, you can check out that video. I really love this one. And honestly, unexpectedly, you know, I don't dip into these shades as much in my life, but they are so pretty and they are so easy to use that I just, 
it was a joy to get to wear those. So absolutely love them. We have to talk about Cool Neutrals. I just saw that it's back in stock. Y'all, this is, I don't even wanna say it's like a Cool Neutral palette. I think it's just neutral. You've got a little bit of everything in here. I mean, look at this. You've got, of course, some warm neutrals. You have some Cool Neutrals, and then you have some kind of like rosy, taupey neutrals. Like, this is just like, hey, all the neutrals. And it's so pretty, it's so versatile. You could honestly like travel with this and be able to have something for every single day of like a seven day trip with no problems. Absolutely love it. And honestly, like I said, all of the Sigma eyeshadows that I've tried in the last few years, I've really loved. So if you haven't ever tried them, the mattes are blendable, creamy. You do have a few different formulas within the shimmers. They're so pretty. Uh, I do have an affiliate code, Keep Beauty Real, that will save you on the site. And of course, all of these things will be linked down below. All right, let's talk a little bit about Divina. As you know, I have a bit of an obsession. We're just gonna call it what it is. Uh, I have been lucky enough to be gifted some products from the brand. I have also purchased a lot. It was really hard for me to pick from what I have been gifted. It was really hard for me to pick and just sort of like narrow it down to like just something to mention. I, I was going actually, I was going through my playlist of Davina products and I was like, okay, what is the one thing that I kind of want to feature in this video? And it's the Phantom Orbs. It's the Phantom Orbs. I pulled them all out because these formulas are so beautiful. And you do have the shimmering multi-chromes, the sparkling multi-chromes and the velvet multi-chromes. And these are so different, but they're both so good. So the shimmering multi-chromes, sparkling, they're sparkling and they're shimmering, but I think the official name is the Sparkling Multi Chrome. So we're going to swatch a couple of these here. I think this is Midnight Nova and Nocturne Ash. Uh, what I love about these is they are smooth, smooth, smooth. Uh oh, we're running out of room. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna palm it, y'all. Uh, they are smooth, smooth, smooth. I'm gonna turn down this middle light so that you can see. But so, so much reflectivity. I mean, look at that shift. Like, hello, so pretty, so smooth. And you know, I'm all about the smooth eyeshadows. Now, the Velvet Multichromes are also incredibly smooth, but they are so soft. It's sort of like sneaky. They are great on the inner corner. They're great if you're looking for something very subdued, sort of that like je ne sais quoi. So here we have Soleil's and Water Mist. So this is Water Mist and this is Soleil's. So you can see how like it just sneaks up on you. And they are just, I mean, if you see these in the pan, you're like, hmm, that's like a pastel matte with like, hmm. <laughs> and then you get them here and you're like, oh, I tell you what, I wear these on my inner corner so, so much. Absolutely love them. They are so beautiful. So out of all of what Davina has gifted me, I would say that these are the ones that were the most unexpected. And I would purchase, even though, you know, even though I'm not really a blue and purple wear, I honestly would probably even purchase that uh, Nocturne Ash. Nope, that one is Midnight Nova, that purpley blue periwinkle. Because it is so many shades in one, Look at that. <laughs> it's like, it is unicorn happiness rainbow on my hand right now. I love these so much. They've made me so happy. So now after experiencing all of these shades, I would purchase every single one of these six shades. So thanks to Davina for sending them over. Of course, if you're interested in any of these, you can use my code KeepBeautyReal to save as well. All right. So we have one last eyeshadow palette to talk about. Now, honestly, this was a bit of a hard pick for me because I've received several beautiful palettes that I love using from this brand. I wanted to just grab one and I picked the one that I've been using so much. It's the one that's on my eyes right now. I picked the one that I've been using so much and it's just super seasonally appropriate right now. And I know it's one that probably won't be around forever. And this is Ghost Town USA from Nomad. So I have been lucky enough to be, like I said, sent quite a bit of PR from the brand 
And because this is one of their spooky season palettes, they of course brought it back this year. I was looking it up and the brand says that they'll probably keep it around for a little while, but once it sells out for this season, it's gonna take a while to get it back in stock. So I wanted to feature this, give it my mega stamp of approval if it is something that you were curious to get. I think what is so special about this to me is, you know, I am not someone who considers herself a cool makeup lover. Mm, that might be changing. I'm, a, I'm definitely able to appreciate it, but it's not something that I reach for all the time. This palette though is just so stunning. It is so well balanced. The mattes are gorgeous. The shimmers are beautiful. I love that we have equal amounts of mattes and shimmers in here. So this week, so today I'm wearing, I have Rhyolite Nevada, Bandit Queen, and Deadwood, and Undead Sheriff. So I have actually all three of these mattes and this shimmer on the eye. And let's see, if I can zoom you in here, I don't know if you're actually even able to see it in this lighting, but what I love about the Nomad shimmers is they are at least in a lot of the palettes and the ones that I love. They are a beautiful soft shimmer formula with a ton of little magic micro dust sparkle. They're stunning. And I don't actually get a lot of fallout when I apply these. Even the ones, you know, you, you see sparkle like this and you're like, I don't get fallout. So I really appreciate that. This was like a quick, easy five minute look. Uh, I, I wanted to wear this lipstick and I was like, I need something that's going to go with the lipstick and, you know, not overtake it. So. That's where I pulled this out. But this week, I wore this look twice because I loved it so much. I did this shade on the inner lid, this one on the outer, and then one day I used a couple mattes from here, and then one day I used a couple mattes from another Nomad palette, and it was just beautiful. It's like gorgeous, warm, stunning, so easy, <laughs> so easy. Like that's the thing I think that I love. The Nomad palettes that I really love and appreciate are very easy to use. I think I've only really had like an issue with like one palette ever. And I have quite a few that I purchased and that have been sent to me. So this is the one that is right now just so special in my heart. I think I'm gonna do like a ranking on my Nomad palettes video. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But I did wanna say, because I know that this one is out right now, you can snag it. Uh, you can also, by the way, bundle this one and Haunted Europe if you are like super into spooky season and you want both of them. So just wanted to give it its moment of appreciation. So thanks to Nomad for sending that over and all of the other things that they have. Thanks to all of these brands. Like really, as a small content creator, again, it's it's fairly rare that you are able to be sent things and able to share them. I just wanna do one last pass here because I'm gonna be so devastated if I've done this and there was one thing that I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that. Like I said, this is by no means everything that I have gotten and loved. It's just a few of the things that right away I was like, I've gotta talk about these. So had to give them their moment in the sun. I hope you enjoyed getting to see a few of the things that I have received that, like I said, I would absolutely spend my money on and possibly have. There were a lot of things in here that I have bought more of, replenished all of the things. I will have all of these linked down below for you. And if I can find any of the content that goes into the details of any of these, I know like for some of the eyeshadow palettes, I've done videos with multiple looks, things like that. So I will make sure to give it my best shot to be able to have those down below for you as well. Speaking of links, I will have the Ana Luisa website linked down below if you did want to check out any of the beautiful baubles. Like I said, I've really just been enjoying the pieces that I have and I know that they will stay looking nice for a really long time. So thank you again to the brand for sending those over. And that is gonna be it for today. If you would like me to do another one of these videos in the future, please let me know. I would definitely consider doing that. I think it's just good to be able to get a reminder, a refresh after a while of like, hey, now that I've had this for a while and have been using it, it's absolutely something that I still recommend and would definitely need to have in my collection if it ever magically disappeared. All right, lovelies, that's gonna be it, and I will see you really soon.